hello, hello, hello. Um, so, by any means, I am not a tutorial man, but um, I want to show you this because I found it really helpful and hopefully someone can actually create something a little bit better than this. Uh, but anyway, I found a way to automatically switch scenes between Streamlabs OBS. The long and short of it, just because I know you probably just want to know how to do it, is um, you're going to use a, an application called Script Editor. And pretty much you can just use this code and the idea here is that it repeats and then there's an end repeat and it'll pretty much just keep looping, which is nice. And then there's little delay numbers, which I believe are seconds, by the way, and you can change them depending on how often you want it to switch between. And then there, there are key codes. The key codes refer to particular function keys that I've set as shortcuts within uh, Streamlabs. So I'll just show you how this works to begin with rather than, um, and then I'll go into the theory of it in a moment. So, good trusty. So that's all there. I'm going to hit play and we're going to wait. Wait and watch. Wait and watch. Is my iPhone not set up anymore? Oh, it's nicely delayed, isn't it? So it's just triggered the first one which is the first scene I've got. So you can see that this key is coming through. F1, F2, trigger the second one. Not really varied at all, but that's okay. <laughs> and um, you're probably getting confused because you're seeing so many of me right now. And then it's triggered the third one. How good is that? And then we'll wait a few more moments and it's gonna trigger the first one. Do, 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 do. How good is that? Um, so, the basic idea here is that you've already got the set keys, the, 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 the hockey set up in Streamlabs. Okay, so I've gone to preferences. Got a lot of business here, okay, so you're going to see a lot of mess. Hockeys, and then I've got it here, and then you'll see right at the bottom, F1. And then look, I don't need to show you all of them, do I? Um, F2 and then F3 set for the three scenes. Okay, so um, basically if you just want to start using it, make sure F1, 2 and 3 are set and then you can copy this code which I'll have in the description below and uh, pretty much just open script editor, hit play, you know, paste it in, hit play, done, no issues. Uh, if you want to know more about the theory behind it, um, what I'd encourage you to do, and I'll, I'll link this in the description below, is grab an application called Key Codes. Pretty much, um, I'm going to stop this now. Pretty much uh, what Key Codes is going to show you is uh, what the actual code for the hotkey is. Okay, so I've just pressed F1 and the code is 122. So I'd go over here and press 122. This camera is so delayed, it's crazy. I'm recording on so many screens right now. And then F2 is 120, so that's 120 here. And then F3 is 99, so it's 99 here. So the basic idea there, let me just remove you, um, here's key codes. The idea here is that you can just change the code depending on what you want your hotkey to be. Um, the repeat is really important because that's going to loop it. And then the delay can be set, I guess you can just experiment with it. Um, I don't know, maybe there's more information I need to tell you, but I think the, the basic sentiment here is that um, I couldn't find a solution for this. I found it really hard to find a solution. And it's actually a pretty simple solution using Apple Script Editor, um, using key codes as a bit of a complementary program, and then setting up your commands via Streamlabs. So um, I hope this has helped. I'm aware that this is probably the crudest thing that I could have put together, but that's fine. I'm not usually doing this and uh, if it can help, great. If you want to extend upon it, make it better. If there's a solution that I haven't even, not even seen, please let me know. And um, I'm going to go to full, full me for a second. Uh, hope you're well and um, feel free to click that like and subscribe button if you liked and would like to subscribe for more of this content. Uh, I don't know what the content is half the time, but we are here, you are here, and we're all in this together. If you'd like me to extend on any of these points, let me know. If you'd like me to do a better video, sure, that's fine. I'll do it. No worries. Until then, goodbye. Stay safe. The end.